evidence that weather condition before conception affects the ability of conception as a result of uh, those derived uh, seasonality of birth outcome. The difference between their paper and mine is my analysis is based on the babies born like during certain months. So it's conditioning on conception. I didn't take into account the seasonality of conception. So it's a little bit different. I hope you uh, contribute in both ways. So I, I use a uh, uh, US birth certificate data and the weather data from uh, CDC Wonder from 1989 to 2002. And I, I have a data pending. I, I'm approved. So I, in the future work, I will use data up to 2011. Um, this is uh, my specific, uh, my econometric uh, functional form. I use, so uh, it's basically individual data, and this is months of birth, and this is year fixed defects and count fixed defects. Uh, the months of birth here, dummies basically capture those uh, seasonality of birth outcome. This is similar to like a previous literature, and uh, I control weather condition during pregnancy. T here is trimester from one to three, so I, uh, Contours uh, three tr trimester level of weather condition like a solar radiation temperature, precipitation, and then the temperature gap, be like a difference between maximum temperature and uh, a minimum temperature. Uh, and then I contour uh, maternal characteristics and then mat uh, maternal head related behavior during pregnancy. These are similar to other papers. Basically, this is my finding. Uh, the black line here is what I showed you before, is the seasonality of worst outcome is consistent to the previous finding. So I control the weather condition. As you can see, uh, the seasonality decreased a lot. So after controlling weather condition, seasonality decreased up to 81%, depending on the functional form, but, but basically it tells that maybe the seasonality are just driven by weather condition during pregnancy. So as you can see, the baby's born uh, during April now, just it's around the same, and it's not statistically significant anymore. Only significance in December, but other than that, the significance will decrease. So it tells the weather condition during pregnancy are important. So in the uh, second part of paper, I, I look at, okay, if weather conditions are that important, and then, okay, how important, and then why, why derive those association? There are previous literatures like, uh, uh, show that there are like a solar radiation impact on birth weights and then also temperature impact on uh, birth weights and then there are many other literature talk about how the temperature impacts birth outcome impact mortality or mortality and or like their existing uh, uh, literature. What I add to the uh, previous literature is this is based uh, I, I'll uh, duplicate the previous literature I found. This is the first, second, third trimester of solar radiation, and this is temperature. Basically, consistent to the previous uh, literature, I found a negative association between solar radiation and then birth outcome during pregnancy. Uh, but I add a fetal growth rate, which is a ratio of birth weight to uh, gestation period. Basically, this uh, takes into account the gestation period uh, during pregnancy. Uh, suddenly it turns positive and uh, basically babies born during third trimester if their mother exposes 1% higher solar radiation, uh, their growth rate is 0.5 gram higher. That is like if they, you know, their gestation period is, uh, is about 40 weeks, then it's a 20 gram, it's a significant effect. So I was uh, like thinking maybe uh, those negative association